Hi guys, it's Luton here and I'm back for another thought for the day. Now I don't normally like to post several in a row, I prefer to leave a bit of time, however this time it was a little bit necessary. Now the previous one that I posted was showing how I was sniping as an attacker and then what a defender's course of action was to immediately come close range to me. Now, some people seem to have completely missed the point here and not really understood why I was posting it. And they're simply saying, oh, Luton, you're just annoyed and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, it's totally legit. Yes. Now, here's the thing. Look at this base here, right? I'm working as a defender. I'm staying around the MCOM. I'm working hard to defend the MCOM against people coming in on it. So running off to go and chase a sniper really does not help my team. What it does is it will weaken the position around the MCOM and waste a huge amount of time. Now look, there's snipers up here, alright? I'm marking them, I'm aware that they're there, I've just been taken out by a sniper. Am I going to run all the way over there just to take that guy out? No, okay, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to be aware of the fact that he's there. I'm going to let everyone else know that he's there. And I'm going to try and generally stay out of the way, or I'm going to try and counter it. But if I take the time to run over there, well, I could get killed on the way because I'll be open to attack, or I could, you know, there could be people already coming up around this area and I'm going to be missing my opportunity to help defend the MCOM by going over there. So this was really the actual point that I was trying to make with the video, but people completely misunderstood and simply thought that I was going, oh, he's come to kill me, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it really, I mean, who cares about that? It's just, and I have to say in the video which I posted, it happened to me multiple times, but it really was not the point that I was trying to make. And I actually also thought that a lot of the players and people that, um, you know, comment on my videos generally, I thought they would have had a little bit more sense themselves. Also, look at this, people saying, oh, well, you couldn't really take out a sniper with something like an assault rifle. It wouldn't be very easy to do. Well, look, we've got a guy right here. Oh, what happened there? I managed to just totally take him out. So this was my point that I was making, is that you don't need to go chasing after these things because it's not really going to help. What you know, We're constantly under attack here on the MCOMs and running off to chase after a single sniper is really not the thing that's going to be necessary. But working around this... M I mean, look, I mean, those snipers are still over there. I still am aware they're there. But look, I'm dealing with this LAV. I'm taking out people that are coming into the base. And coming up right here, I defend the MCOM as well. So this was the point that I was actually trying to make. Maybe the video that I posted uh, didn't really illustrate the point well, but I hope that this does illustrate the point that I was trying to make originally. Thanks for watching this one, guys. I'll link this with the other video. If you haven't seen the other video, I'll link that as well, and you can go back and check that out. And uh, I'll have some more Thought for the Days coming up soon. I've got a very long uh, round breakdown coming up as well. I hope you'll enjoy that one. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, see you next time.